going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new, made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. A big cliche g'day folks and uh, welcome to a video with a difference. Uh, this is very far away from Minecraft but I've been left with no choice. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, pause this video now. I'm going to send you to a, uh, I'll give you a link to the description of video number one. Uh, video number one was done by Hey Apple or Chuck and uh, this video is the first, the first time video. Uh, of which he has nominated, he's tagged me to follow up with number two and at the end of this I'm actually going to tag somebody else who's going to have to answer all of these questions like I've done and like Chuck did before me um, and then let's see how far the chain goes. So let's get right into it, okay? The first question is, what was my very first YouTube video? Uh, well, my very first YouTube video is no longer up uh, because it was flagged for copyright um, thingy, thingy. Um, I had actually created a Silent Hill horror map with Minecraft using the Silent Hill texture pack. Unfortunately, oh, it was the resource pack. Unfortunately, with that, it came with some in game music, and the music was flagged for copyright. So that video has since been taken down. The map um, was re uploaded um, using some different screen capture. Um, programming and mm, without any music unfortunately um, it's just not the same as that first one so yeah my first YouTube video has actually been taken down by me by me um, okay the first person I subscribed to on YouTube um, would have only been about this time last year because I haven't even been playing Minecraft for a full year yet and it was thanks to my dad. Thanks, dad. He introduced Minecraft to me. And because of that, I jumped on YouTube, created a account so I could start getting some hints and tips. Um, and so I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe the first person I actually subscribed to uh, was a Minecrafter. And his name is Paul Suarez Jr. Uh, he does the How to Survive and Thrive series uh, of Minecraft, which I am also going to give you a link to because he's just great. He's fantastic. He also does a series where he gets his family involved, his wife and his kids, two boys and a daughter, um, and they just have fun surviving and, and thriving. Um, very first Facebook profile pic. If you guys hadn't guessed, I'm a little bit older than the usual Minecrafters or Minecrafting YouTubers. I am 34 years old. I have had Facebook since day dot. So to be honest, I've got no idea what my first Facebook picture was. The first one I can get my hands on though is this one. So there you go. Um, moving on to question number four. Do you still talk to your first love? Bit of a loaded question that one. Um, I've had three good loves in my life. Um, only one of them, I believe, was true love. Uh, unfortunately, no. I um, haven't seen him in about 15 years. So, no. No, I don't, I don't speak to him anymore. Moving on. That's a, it's a bit serious. So, moving on to something a little bit funnier. My first alcoholic drink. Uh, story behind this one. I was four years old. Uh, and I actually got my hands on my mum's wine. Not her fault. Um, but I don't know how much I would have had as a four-year-old. I was wasted. Uh, and I guess to um, teach me a lesson, mum sent me to kindergarten the next day with a hangover as a four-year-old. It would have been hilarious. The funny thing is, there's a lot of that event I actually remember. I remember being drunk at four years old, so it could explain quite a bit. Um, first job, very easy. I was a checkout chick in Foodland, uh, Australian chain of supermarkets. Good fun. Was there for a while. Moved on to McDonald's after that, so always stuck to the service industry. I just like people too much. Uh, my first car was actually my 21st, first and only car, my 21st birthday present from my mum. Uh, it was a hand-me-down, but I love that thing so much. Was actually able to pass that on to my sister fairly quickly, actually, because she got herself pregnant. Um, and the car that she had only had two doors. And uh, in Australia, I don't know if it's the same everywhere else, you have to have um, back doors in your car so you can safely um, 
put in and take out the baby seats. Okay. For, okay. Another easy question. The first person you texted today didn't... I barely use a mobile phone. I don't think I've sent a text in about six months. So, there you go. Uh, first person I thought of this morning, it was Chuck. Of course it was. That's every morning. Of course it's Chuck. Uh, <laughs> that's very easy. Uh, who was my first grade teacher? No idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, the youngest I do remember um, would have been possibly my sister's third grade teacher, Mrs. Thompson. But I've got no idea who mine were. This is what happens when you get old. Okay. Where did you go on your first ride on an aeroplane? Uh, I believe I was 16 years old and mum took me to Sydney. So it was an Adelaide to Sydney flight. Uh, we went for a weekend for my birthday from the Friday through to the Sunday night, I believe. And it was an amazing time. It was really, really cool. Who was my first best friend and do we still talk? Uh, my first best friend was Harriet Nimmo. Um, Harriet amazing very artistic girl um, but we actually haven't seen each other in about 25 years um, we did somewhat try and connect on Facebook probably five years ago but you can imagine after 20 years people uh, grow up I guess as much as I'm trying not to um, so yeah no she's uh, I think she's like married kids she's into healthy lifestyle and yoga and she does that Bikram yoga and she can bend herself in half. It's craziness. It's just, it's just crazy. Okay. My, where was my first sleepover? All right, my first sleepover, probably, if it wasn't at Harriet's, um, it would have been with my second best friend, Reagan Rayner, um, in the second primary school that I went to. Reagan was a pretty cool chick. She was so petite, very, very short, loved horses, and I actually believe now, I have heard recently, that she did become a jockey like she wanted to, so um, congratulations to you, Reagan. You won't see this, but I'm sending it out there. Okie dokie. The first thing I did this morning, the first thing I do every morning, Minecraft. Computer went on, Minecraft. Second thing, uh, Skype, of course, but yeah, no, it was Minecraft. Of course it's Minecraft. How can you even ask me that? Uh, <laughs> moving on, the, the first concert I ever went to. Um, I was actually a bit of a late bloomer as far as concerts are concerned. I have only ever been to one concert, and it was the Super Fairy Animals, uh, who are a Welsh band, amazing band, uh, and this was maybe about eight years ago, seven years ago, that's about right. I actually lived over in the UK, which I think is a one of my next questions coming up. I uh, lived in the UK and my partner at the time, he took me to the Super Furry Animals. So, um, yeah, if you want to check them out, I'm sure they've got some tracks on YouTube. Uh, Hello Sunshine is definitely my favourite. Okie dokie. First broken bone. Never. <laughs> uh, never had a broken bone. Um, never had a bee sting. Never needed a filling. Uh, healthy as a horse. So, yeah, no. Not looking forward to breaking one, um, if I ever do. Uh, it's not pleasant by any standards. But, yeah, my first broken bone has not happened yet. First foreign country I've been to. Depends. The flight to the UK, um, it would have been China. Because uh, we had a stopover in Hong Kong. So uh, it was from Melbourne in Australia to Hong Kong, Zurich, and then Manchester, UK, before we drove to Liverpool. So if it's literal, I would say China, so Hong Kong. Uh, but if it's more like a proper visit, then because um, there was only like a half hour stopover in Hong Kong, uh, then it was the UK, uh, of which I lived there for four years. First attention of UK. <laughs> I'm, I'm too old for, for my own good. My first attention was in year four. Um, so I would have been quite young. I would have been ten, something like that. And I got sent to detention because I called a boy a bigot because he wouldn't let me join in the sport he was playing. Um, 
I think the teacher may not have known what bigot meant. And I know it's not exactly the right word. It should I should have said sexist. But yeah, I called him a bigot and got sent to detention. Uh, my first roommate, my first roommate, Yasmin. Horrible, horrible girl. Horrible girl. Started off all right. A uh, bit of a freeloader though. Caused a lot of problems. Wasn't the healthiest girl as far as habits were concerned. So you understand my drift there. Um, that would have been 18 years ago though. So I currently live on my own and very happy to do so. <laughs> Uh, last three questions now. So we've got, what was the first sport I was involved in? That would have been softball. I used to love softball. Um, I would go out and do the playing it on the Saturday deal. And I think I was actually quite good too. I wasn't very fast getting to the bases, but I could hammer that ball across the field. That's all the um, upper body strength, all that kind of stuff. Um, the first thing I do when I get home, computer goes on. Check Skype, load up Minecraft. It's it's a given. It's a given. Again, why do you even need to ask me this? And last question, and it's really sweet. When was my first kiss? Uh, my first kiss, I was 14 years old, and it was with a boy called Adam, and it was horrendous. Um, we were basically forced into it by his best friend and my best friend, who were dating. And they was kiss, 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 that kind of deal. So we went in for the kiss, I believe. I kissed his top lip and he kissed my teeth um, all at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but that's what it was. That's what happened. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's a little bit about me, guys. If you want to know anything else, um, put some questions in the comments section below. But now the hard task. Who do I tag next? I have actually been, um, I've been tossing this one up because I was actually hoping to kind of cross waters with this one. Um, and keep uh, keep like gender, race, and stuff like that. Keep everything quite diverse. But to be honest, as far as wanting to know some of the answers for this, I think I am going to tag next, Mr. Damon, Joel. You're up next, buddy. So I'll I'll send you all the info, all these questions. But yeah, it's um it's your turn. So get your thinking cap on. Anyway, guys, this has been Carrot Top. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I always say, remember, stay good day to your neighbour.